In this example, we're going to look at how we can use short multiplication to multiply a decimal number by a whole number. So, as ever, we're going to use our column method to find the answer to 3.19 times 8. So, I've written 3.19 here. The trick to making sure you can use this method effectively is thinking about what this 8 is worth. So, if we were to put the 8 here, that would be indicating that the 8, eight was worth 100, which it isn't, it's actually a whole number. So I'm not going to put my 8 there, I'm actually going to line it up with the other unit value, which is 3. So I'm going to do 3.19 multiplied by 8, looking like that. As with all of the other multiplication methods, we now simply do the top number multiplied by the bottom number. What we need to make sure we always do when multiplying a decimal number is put the decimal point in the same place in the answer box as it is in the question, so that the place value remains the same. So I'm going to do 9 multiplied by 8, which equals 72. I'm going to do 1 times 8, which equals 8, plus that 7 is 15. And then 3 times 8 equals 24, plus that 1 is 25. Because I put my decimal point in the correct place at the start of the calculation, I can now say that 3.19 multiplied by 8, which I needed to put there, equals 25.52.